Welcome to another edition of your Effective Living series on CTFM and CTTV. This is your 2023 starter pack. In this series, we're trying to give you the right foundation for the year. In this our third week, we're speaking about professional priorities for the year. Our topic today is very simple. What are the top skills you need, not just to survive, but to thrive in 2023 and beyond? My guest is Michael Ohini Fa. He's been on this program for the past 15 or so years with some deep insights. Michael, thanks for coming. Thank you, Bernard, for having me. There are few people I introduce on the show that I don't need to say what they do. You're one of them. So when I say Michael, you know who he is. He's been there, done that. He has a yeah. T-shirt. He has an African print. So it's good to have you again. Thank you. So top skills for 2023 and beyond. These things keep changing. I remember the last time I saw something like this, it was for 2015. Mm. And even then, a lot of the skills on that list were not things I even knew existed when I was graduating in Legon in 2004. That's right. Right? Because there were things like cognitive flexibility, mm -hmm. negotiation skills. Yeah. Nobody taught me those things whilst I was in Legon. Yeah. Of course, I probably learned some in my leadership stuff. Mm. So I'm sure this list for 2023 will be very wild. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not wildly wild. Okay. <laughs> but a few things, okay. a few surprises here and there. Good. Yeah. So let's mm -hmm. get into it. What are you going to talk okay. about? What are the... Why, what is skill? Why are skills important in this, in this current situation? All right, so um, the way I've structured it, I want to uh, dwell a bit on the context for this conversation. All right. Uh, why should we be talking about it, like I was saying? Why mm -hmm. should we be discussing top skills for uh -huh. 2023? Mm -hmm. Why should it interest somebody who has just started work? Why mm -hmm. should it interest a mid-career person? Why should it interest an executive? And then I'll be looking at the attitudes, because you need an attitude first before the skill. Mm -hmm. And so we'll be looking at what are the top attitudes that we need to be able to do well, excel, and climb the corporate ladder. And then we'll be doing the skills itself, and then we'll come to behaviors. Because mm -hmm. when you have a skill, it must be expressed in what you do every day when you get to work. So what are the behaviors that you need to not only survive, but to excel uh, in your work uh, for 2023 and beyond? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So. Yeah. Why are skills important? Why the top skills? Very good. Now, have you paid attention to the fact that a child that is starting kindergarten today will get onto the job market in 2041? <laughs> mm. Because of uh, about, take or leave it 18 years or 19 years, depending on whether they do KG or KG is two years or uh, uh, one year. And so you are going to enter the job market in 2041. Now, if your child is in class one, primary one today, they are going to enter the job market in 2039. Uh -huh. Now, cast your mind forward and ask yourself, how would the world look like in 2041? Uh -huh. So that is why the skills are important, because you are going to live and work in a world that will be vastly different from what we know today. And if you want to measure that, let's cast our mind back to 20 years ago when you and I were in secondary school yeah. and look at the world we live and operate in today. Yeah. How things have come up and changed everything that we do. That is how come we need to have a conversation on the skills that we need for 2023 uh, uh, and beyond. When you mm. put it that way, it makes it even more scary. <laughs> because I don't even know... 20, 2003, I was in level 300. Very good. So 20 years after that, wow. Yeah. Look at that. What Did you ever imagine that you would live in this world and the skills that you needed to be able to excel in today's world when you were in level 300? And that's the same thing that's going to happen to our children. Mm. So we need to prepare them for what is coming. Yeah. And then we need to you know, uh, uh, develop, not only prepare, but to develop them and to make sure that they are going to survive. Mm. Now, to also set the context, I don't know whether you know, you follow the work of Professor Michio Kaku. Mm -hmm. uh, Michio Kaku is an American uh, physicist, futurist, and science commentator. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, been working on the Morse law. You know the Morse law? Mm -hmm. That um, every uh, two years or so, the amount of information in the world mm -hmm. will exponentially double. So what is happening is that the world itself is changing at such a fast rate mm -hmm. with information technology and the processes that we use in computers that it is going to make technology very, very cheap mm -hmm. and affordable in the next years. Mm -hmm. Now, as an example, you, you know the iMac? Yes. 
Yeah, that, the Tikopo iMac. Yeah. I remember those days when I was uh, with Originate and it came and, you know, you have one, it's just like... God. You have the biggest thing exactly. in the world. Exactly, it has been an air conditioning room and everybody was here and you needed special technicians to come and check it out. Do you know that today an iPhone has more processing power than that iMac? Can you imagine? Exactly. And it's in your pocket? It's in our pocket. It's three times smaller, but double the size and the capacity of that iMac. And wow. that is how the world we are going to work in mm. from this year and beyond. Wow. Because compu mini computers, mini machinettes, uh, what is the biggest cause in the Internet of Things? Mm. This is going to shape every work that we do. Mm. Now, as an example, today there are robots that can lay 20,000 bricks an hour. Hey. So, Efo Koku, who Sorry. is a bricklayer in uh, Akachi, is in trouble if wow. he does not change because a computer will now wow. get him, a robot will now take him out of job. 20,000 bricks an hour. An hour. Ooh. And there are machines, cars that are now laying pavement blocks at a speed and accuracy that we will never get from our workers. So mm. everybody is impacted. When we do this, and people think, oh, it's just for the office people. Mm. Everybody, look at today, Uber driving mm. and the traditional taxi drivers. Mm. So if you don't know how to manage a smartphone, you can't even drive a car in the next decade. So this is the context. This is why this topic is so important mm. going forward as mm. we prepare for what is coming. Mm. So the future is going to be technology. Mm -hmm. The future is going to be fast paced. Things are going to change at the speed of light. Mm -hmm. And everybody must prepare. Mm. I mean, I remember when I was growing up, I mean, I started my life as an advertising salesman. Yeah. Mm. And when we have an event, you needed to go and get GBC to come and cover for your client. When they are coming, the cameras that they will bring, it's like, Putomantu. Big. To, today, look at the cameras. Some of the cameras using. even had like curtains behind <laughs> them. Yes. You hide under the curtains. And the whole human <laughs> being is carrying <laughs> it. So when you are doing solid, you have to pay like seven people. I tell you. Today, look at the cameras. Some of the have. shows we do, they use this. <laughs> Good. On a tripod, to shoot. And Good. it's just awesome. Exactly. The sound is better. And some better. of this is 4K. Yeah. The sound is mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. The pictures are much clearer. Mm -hmm. So it is even changing the demands of works like photographers, cameramen, mm -hmm. and other things. Mm -hmm. So this is the future. All right, so then what must we do? So first, we look at attitudes. Yeah. What attitudes will help you to survive these things? Mm -hmm. And number one is for me, any worker that has a can-do attitude. Today, okay. you are a general manager. You mm -hmm. run city. Mm -hmm. And you know the importance of an attitude when it comes to which worker to work with, yeah. which worker to assign what resp responsibility to, mm. and who to, you know, give any tax to. Mm. I ran two businesses mm. until I guess, and mm. then I delisted one. Mm -hmm. But it is increasingly difficult to find people who want to apply themselves. So if you don't have a can-do attitude, and a can-do attitude shows in, I don't know, but I'll find out. I like that. Give me some time, I'll check it out for you. Mm -hmm. I haven't done this before, but I say, let me try. Mm -hmm. That kind of attitude is what will buy you the future. Mm. If you don't have that attitude, you may get a first class from university and find yourself without a job. I don't know, but I'll find out. Yes. Can do attitude. This is Effective Living Series. <laughs> this is the third week. We're looking at top skills for 2023. My guest, Michael Ohinefa, jumping right in. Top skills we need. Can do attitude critical. Let's go on. The second one is a value-adding employee. Okay. You see, the exchange between an employer and an employee mm. is an exchange of value. Mm. The employer pays a salary, compensation, emoluments package in exchange for value that the employee will offer him. So if you are an employee that does not offer your employer any value, you are going to be out there in wow. the cold. Mm. So one, what value do you add to the organization's operation? Mm. Can your bosses trust you? Mm. And if you are a business owner, what value do you give or offer to your customers? Mm. Value adding. Big thing. Number three, infectious enthusiasm for the work. Infectious enthusiasm. Yes. I mean, every employer or boss wants an employee that gives 100% of themselves and brings that to a particular task. Mm -hmm. Today, we have people who are just doing their work anyhow, or biara biara. Uh, okay, I've tried. Oh, have you called the people? Yes, I tried their number, it's off. So what have you done? I'm, I'm, uh, that kind of work doesn't add value to the work. Mm. 
Mm. And no, you can't rise up in any organization mm. if that is your attitude. Infectious enthusiasm for the work. That's right. Like that. Yeah, because you see, it is your enthusiasm that will bring in even customers to mm. the role. Mm. For instance, if you're a front desk executive, it is your enthusiasm for the role that will make sure that a customer buys, repeats, and comes back again. Mm. It is what will tell someone, oh, the city guys, they are good. Oh, the people at this insurance company, oh, I like, it. it's a pleasant uh, this thing to talk to them. But when you have someone who just does their work, anyhow, hello, you have called this place. Uh, even it sucks customers. Or it draws people away from Infectious their work. enthusiasm for That's their work. Right. I like that. And then we want somebody who is committed to delivery, to tax. Mm. You give him, he does not stop until he has resolved the issue. Wow. We don't want yeah. somebody who says it's five o'clock. It's five o'clock, but you are halfway through the work, and yet you are going away. And they will come up. I have, with the little experience I have as a business owner, I see that workers are more skilled at giving you excuses than in applying that skill in solving the work. <laughs> oh, Lord. So there's a very ingenuity, you know, they are very creative at inventing <laughs> excuses than in using that same creativity to oh, do the work. Oh, my God. No, that's the problem we are having. And you can talk to any business owner, small business owner in this city. They will find it, every reason why yes, it will not work. It, the creativity, the planning and thinking that people will go, you know, the lengths with which people will go through to give you an excuse. Okay, if they can apply that same thing to their task, it will be delivered. You know. Exactly. And then finally, an attitude of flexible and being adaptive to change. Adaptive mm. to change. Mm. Because as we are mm. seeing, change is now the only constant. Mm -hmm. Every two years, things are changing. Technology mm. is changing the way we live and work. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't have an attitude that I am flexible, if you don't have an attitude that, yes, let me apply myself to this task. And I see how, even with City, you are moving people between TV and radio and different departments and trying different things. Yeah. It is all because those people are ready to change. Maybe you applied for City to do radio. But you find yourself handling a TV program. The next day, you find yourself doing a magazine program. The next day, you find yourself doing a documentary. Mm. That's the ability to adapt as the needs of the organization come. But I see that there are a lot of people who say, hey, I came here, I said this, so, so me, yeah, what you are telling me, I say, but why? <laughs> but you know, I didn't go to school today. And they confiscate their future mm. on the altar of a job description. So that flexibility is Critical it's for critical. Your if you want to rise up in any organization, mm. you need to be malleable. Mm. Your bosses need to trust you with mm. anything that will come. Mm. And so when we are having management meetings, guess whose name we are, you know, uh, uh, mentioning. For instance, you apply to work in a bank in Ghana. The next two years, you've been posted to Gambia. Mm. You must be adaptable. Mm. Otherwise, you continue to be a local champion mm. and be operating... Uh, I don't look at anything, but uh, yeah, uh, some I, I was listening to Tudor Bismarck, who said, even when you look at the way they build train rails, they leave space for expansion and reduction. Very so very when you look at a big building, they allow space for swings. Good. And he then says, if you have no give room for flexibility, you will break. That's right. Because if you see those buildings that are very high, they allow for certain space for shifts. Good. That if you just maintain media here and meeting now, yeah. when a new wind blows, you, you, you can't survive. Yeah. And, and I think that's You're very off. powerful. For instance, in Lead Africa, my own organization, anybody that can tell you the first thing, in no matter what you do in this organization, you must be able to train. Mm. No matter, you may be the accountant, you must train in accounting. Mm. Because that's, we are a training organization. So if you can't train, you are useless to us. You are useless to us. Otherwise, you will not grow. So even you the drivers must be able to train. You must be able to train. You wow. must be able to run a workshop. When wow. we do our children's come, you must be able to handle some of the children. Wow. So you can't just say, me, they're me a driver. So you know me, I don't know how to handle children. You continue to drive, somebody will come. And it will add value manager. to you. Exactly. Because how many drivers can train? Yes. So I feel sometimes people, people see organizations like I'm giving to organization without knowing mm -hmm. that they in, are building themselves. Yes, I think that's something a lot of people miss. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So those are the attitudes. Yeah. You haven't mentioned hardcore skills yet too. Yes, because the attitudes precede the skills. Okay. <laughs> so, the, the, so that's why people say I hire for attitude, I train for skills. That's right. The attitude precedes the skills. The, the attitude precedes the skills. All mm -hmm. right, so let's now jump into the skills. Mm -hmm. So like you said, the World Economic Forum, every year or every other year, they release 
uh, based on a survey, mm -hmm. based on talking to business mm -hmm. leaders, what they look at the skills for the future. Mm -hmm. And once again, they have released the one for up to 2025. Mm -hmm. So what are the top skills? Mm -hmm. That is going to make sure that you continue to remain in a job, that a computer will not take your role. Number one, analytical thinking and innovation. Mm -hmm. Number two, active learning and learning strategies. Mm -hmm. Number three, complex problem solving. Number four, critical thinking and analysis. Number five, creativity, originality, and initiative. Mm. Number six, leadership and social influence. Number seven, technology use, monitoring, and control. Mm -hmm. Eight, technology design and programming. Nine, resilience, stress tolerance, and flexibility. Ten, reasoning, problem solving, and ideation. 11, emotional intelligence. 12, troubleshooting and user experience. 13, service orientation. 14, systems analysis and evaluation. 15, persuasion and negotiation. You are rushing too much. <laughs> Every one of these deserves... Well, we can show this on the screen. Please yeah, do it. Please, please, that. please put what it on the screen because I... Top skills I, for I, I, I couldn't... I, one of my skills is I couldn't copy fast. <laughs> so, analytical... Can you go through it again? Number one, analytical thinking and innovation, mm -hmm. active learning and learning strategies, mm -hmm. complex problem solving, mm -hmm. critical thinking and analysis, mm -hmm. creativity, originality, and initiative, mm -hmm. leadership and social influence, mm -hmm. technology use, monitoring, and control, mm -hmm. technology design and programming, mm -hmm. resilience, stress tolerance, and flexibility. Mm -hmm. Reasoning, problem solving, and ideation. Mm -hmm. Emotional intelligence. Troubleshooting and user experience. Yes. Service orientation. Systems analysis and evaluation. And then persuasion and negotiation. Charlie, this deserves a whole workshop. Oh. Yes. <laughs> this, is, this is serious. Yes. Wow. These are like 15. 15 top skills. And as you can see, very few of them are technical skills. Very few of them are taught in school. A lot of it you have to do through personal development mm. and through maybe having a mentor, doing some online courses, mm. and doing other things other than what you went to school to learn. Wow. Let me allow you to look at the list on the screen for a few minutes mm. and uh, tell you that this is effective in series. This is just week three and it's becoming serious. Michael Ohine Fai is taking us through school. <laughs> and uh, 15 top skills you need. Very important point he makes. If your child is in class one today, they will be entering the job market in 2039. Mm -hmm. So that's serious, mm -hmm. right? So you need to start thinking about what kind of world they'll be in. And we're trying to just think about some of the things they need to know. So it's, it's very heavy, heavy things being said. So let's try and bring it home, Michael. Yeah. I, we can't go through all the 15. That's right. A couple of things. In the I noticed that they say technology use, mm -hmm. but also technology design. Yeah. So there are two different skills. Yeah. So you may be a great coder and yes. a programmer. Yeah. But even if you're not a programming guy, mm -hmm. you should be able to use, so you should be comfortable enough to use what the people Tech create. God. So you don't necessarily need to be a coding person, but you must understand the way it works. I, I thought that was quite so, profound. So you can use it in your work. Yes, yeah, so they brought two dimensions of technology. That's right. So we all don't the have to... The first one is for the technical people, yes. those who are actually doing the design. The design. Uh -huh. and, yeah. and then the other one is you and I. Yeah. How do we use technology or how do right. we leverage technology yeah. for the work that we do? And then I like the point about troubleshooting. Mm -hmm. thought, thought that was very interesting. Yeah. Complex problem solving is there. Yeah. Okay. But I, I like the lead influence. Leadership, something about leadership, something about influence. Leadership and social influence. Social That's number influence. six. Social yes. influence. That's so right. Who, 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 who can you rally? Who can you bring who can towards you bring a cause? Towards a cause. That's right. And I think people need to be careful. Social influence is not necessarily social media. Yeah. Because if I send you to Dakuman and say, organize a cleanup, how sure. are you going to do it? Yeah. So it's not just I can get 10,000 people to like my post of <laughs> mango and yeah. wheat. Yeah. But essentially, who can you mobilize to do something? Can you rally people can you rally around, people around the course? Do you stand for something? Are you noted for something? It's very important. Exactly. Wow. It's, and I like the, that you differentiate that between 
uh, social media exactly. and social you influence. Know, so you can have two million followers, but it doesn't make you must translate you, it to something. Exactly. And then of course you talk about the systems analysis like this. It's very wild. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we have a few minutes to go. What do you want to emphasize as we wrap up? Because these are things that require a lot of <laughs> contemplation and planning for. Yes. So basically, if you are watching or listening to us, mm. the task for you is to begin a quest mm. to develop yourself in these skills. Read around it. Get a mentor. Get a coach. Attend workshops. You know, you can learn a lot of these things. You know, we in Lead Africa, we've just uh, created a, a, a e learning platform. And you can learn anything you want in sometimes as little as 11 minutes. You know, we are not taking advantage of these things. Uh, the Ghanaian and the black man is the only one who is using social media for fun and hmm. comedy. Hmm. But people are learning how to code and to do things on YouTube. People are doing stuff. And I always give this example. I think the last Commonwealth Games, the guy who won the short part, gold, was mm -hmm. a Kenyan. And he says he learned short part just by watching YouTube. You know, but we, when we go to YouTube, is to laugh, to download something, some people doing something, and then we laugh and we leave it there. So we are, we are not creating not content. We are, we are not, not even exactly. using the content to develop ourselves. When you are in a group and you send anything that is uh, serious, serious no people, comment. No comment. Put a comedy there, 100 likes and 100 followers. So leverage technology. Get yourself a mentor or a coach who will help you. That, okay, for instance, I want to be analytical and innovation. How do I go about it? How do I learn about it? Apply yourself. Um, I say this all the time. We have 24 hours a day. That 24 hours has three blocks. Eight hours for your work or your business. Mm -hmm. Eight hours for sleep. Mm -hmm. A lot of us cannot account for the last eight hours. You have that, which is equivalent to just about how much you spend on your regular work to do anything you want, to learn anything you want. So what you want to do this year, 2023, is that between eight to five, give it to your business or your work. That gives you income. But wealth is created from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Mm. So what are you going to do between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m.? A lot of us can't account for that time. And it is high time that we use that to be able to build some of these skills. Wow. Now, one of the people I read, <clears throat> Robin Sharma, he says, mm -hmm. to triple, to double your income, you must triple your investment in personal development. To double your income, triple your investment in, in personal, personal development. development. Wow. This is, this is good. Guys, are you listening? <laughs> so double your income, triple your investment in personal development. So That's right. I don't know what you can do. There's always something you can learn. That's right. Personal development efforts Good. are critical for doubling. So you, you then create multiple income streams because I always tell people a lot of the things that give me money are not related to my line of work. That's it. So somebody could say, okay, come and do a, a session for my managers and mm -hmm. explain the financial sector. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily, it's not my paid job, but I'll spend some time and do some presentation. And like, good. wow, this is good. good. Can you speak to the larger group? Good. And they're going to pay you for yeah. it. And sometimes, of course, if I know the information, it helps me on my show. Good. But it's not necessarily required knowledge. So get an extra book, read it in three days, yeah. and then do your own presentation. Yeah. So double your income by tripling your investment in personal development. Pers I think Develop that. yourself. Develop your person. That's Acquire strong. new skills. Read about something else. Mm. You may be hired as an engineer, but mm. you are talking about marketing and you have an idea because you have read about it. Mm. And you are giving the marketing guys ideas about customer acquisition. Mm. Now, that increases your value to the organization. Mm. And so next time, guess who is the new manager? You know, so, and, and that's why I said, we keep blaming the external forces too much. We mm. give them too much credit. Mm. It is high time we own our own destiny. So you shouldn't blame yeah. Russia and Ukraine? No, 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 no. <laughs> even Ukraine is not blaming itself. How can we in Ghana <laughs> blame Ukraine? They say Ukraine will do that yeah. thing. How can we blame uh, Ukraine for uh, something that is happening here? Of course, we understand that the global, if price of petrol increase, there's nothing you can do. It will affect you all the same. But we are saying that you can give yourself an insurance. You can cushion yourself if you can build enough around your own personal development. And we're sadly, <coughs> most of us are not doing a lot of that. Wow. 
There's a lot to think through, so I think we'll just try and leave it here because I've run out of time. Uh, these are supposed to be teasers for you to think through. We don't want to make it too long. It's not like a lecture. You know, learning has changed. And what I do with learning is I pick what interests or affects me and I read more around it. Mm. So a lot of times people say, well, Ben, send me the tape, send me the audio. No. If the thing doesn't hit you enough to be interested to research it yourself, yeah. you are being lazy. So don't translate the responsibility to Bernard. Oh, I said Bernard should send me the trip you didn't send to me. No. <laughs> if of the 15 skills you pick only three and you work on those three, you can still do well. Because you may not even have time to develop all the 15. So listening to the whole thing again and getting all the 15 doesn't really help you. The three or four that you remember that you can apply yourself to because your brain picks the things that it likes. So the things in the 15, the ones that I remember are the ones that I have to develop. Right? So don't use your mind for storage. Use your mind for creativity. That's one of the things I'll say to you. Michael, this is awesome. I love it. Thank you so much for coming on. It's uh, always a pleasure. We, we have been bringing you different topics around professional priorities for 2023 in this third week. Michael Ohinefa, uh, leader freak is where he works. He does a few other things and he's been on. He'll come again at the end of the 16 episodes to do something we call avoiding self-sabotaging behaviors. So that watch out for that the last Friday of the series. We'll be with you next time. Bye-bye.